Anything for more clicks. South Park Season 24 release date, trailers and what we know. South Park Season 24 doesn't have an official release date yet, and yet people click on it. It might be called clickbait and we might all universally detest it, however, if it's working, it keeps happening. The real a-hole design here is the fact that humans are way too curious for our own good. That's not even a meme. I would have clicked on this without reading the metadata, and that is my own fault because I would like to know more about Season 24. It's just the way that we are. It is something that we need to work on together as a society. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis, my name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash a-hole design, a subreddit dedicated entirely to design that is either completely idiotic or completely malicious. Let's just get right into it. Then why did you let me buy the key? Opening not allowed. Opening this container is not allowed in your country. Uh, I can actually explain why Valve allowed you to purchase the key. Um, it is completely because uh, Valve has forgotten TF2 and forgot to turn that off. <laughs> I joke, I still play MVM every weekend with the boys, but straight up and down, when was the last time more got updated beyond just the localization files? TF2 was, it's, it's going on way. It's, it's, you know, Grandpa's going back to the retirement home and that's okay. But I'm willing to bet that this is more oversight than it is Valve being willingly malicious. I'm sure if you contact support, they'll help you take care of it. Rip in peace, TF2. May some game finally succeed your legendary legend. No wonder the Daily Mail wanted me to turn off my ad blocker. Six ads covering 63.5% of the screen. I am very happy that you highlighted the ads in red because I don't think I would have seen them otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, like I always turn on ad blockers just because I can't stand this much ads. Like, as someone in marketing, this is a bit too much. This is not from a design perspective, this is too much. A, these would take forever for the content to actually load because there's just, it's just so much trying to come through the pipe all at once. But B, like, I don't even know what the story is because there's an ad covering the title. Like, I can only see it because there's share or comment on this article and that's where the name is. Like, I hate this. This hurts me. Oh, adding Among Us to the title when someone searches for it, their game pops up. Hayarisha Drifter, number one, Among Us. Yeah, that's, that, that is how it be do. That is how it be do. Like, here's the thing. The app stores are, despite what Apple says, near completely unregulated. Just as a whole. <laughs> how else do you think Epic would have snuck in what they snuck in? Because these, these places do not have the oversight. It is full of just grifters. There's a lot of good apps on app stores, but it is full of people trying to make just a simple quick buck by stealing assets, flipping assets, etc. The app stores aren't good. Uh, they need a lot of reformation, to say the least. There's Steam on mobile, how's that? Does that sum it up? These people putting down spikes so that the homeless can't sleep there. Rain or shine, they don't care. What kind of society do we live in where homelessness is solved with spikes? The society in which we live, because as you know, we live in a society. We kind of talked about this on the last day whole design, but it's just kind of gross behavior, you know? Like, solve the issue of homelessness, don't just sweep it under the rug. There's a lot of people who could use a hand. I have no idea how many people die in my state's capital. There used to be a massive homeless camp in, like, one of the parks. I haven't seen that in years. I don't think the homeless population ever went down. Uh, maybe toss a couple of change to people looking for jobs, you know? Daddy surprises baby girl waking up at mini players off for videos made for kids. Every time I try and minimize, the learn more button gets instinctively clicked and a new page opens. It's really painful. Yeah, that's kind of butts, and I'm glad you circled the learn more button because it's not like it's the only splash of color on that bar. We're not idiots. Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah, no, so, like, I never understood the weird restrictions. I get that we have to protect the children, obviously. Uh, Matt, what it is, made sure that YouTube did a lot of weird things, but uh, just straight up and down. Um, I don't know why the mini players turned out for this. <laughs> what, what, what possibly could happen if someone uses the mini player on, like, a Steven Universe? clip. I don't understand the, this restriction. Of all restrictions that I can understand, you know, turning off comments and stuff like that to make it harder for creeps to find what they're after, um, I don't understand the mini player thing. I just, is there a glitch that is fixed? I mean, that is, that only happens by the mini player. So, you know, you gotta, you know, disable it so people can't do it. I don't understand it. I don't understand this weird and arbitrary restriction. Oh, oh, comments have the answer. Apparently mini player requires them to use some data that's not supposed to be collected from kids. This slider to turn off email marketing from Rakuten. Oh, oh, that is dirty. It makes it look like it's not on when it is on. Apparently, uh, this site is an infamous scam that calls itself a cashback site for places like AliExpress because the second you've saved up a bunch of money, 
They basically flag your account for faking transactions that you already made. You like that? The comment, this image is so small that I could read the comments without scrolling, so I was more inclined to read them before saying anything that might make me look like an idiot. It's a rare occurrence, but I love when it happens. <laughs> God, this is such disgusting design. This actually angers me. I was looking for katanas that I can't afford on eBay, and I found this. Ferro Shavirion Murano Art Glass Katana. Heavily discounted. Reshipping! I feel that way every time I have to pay $90 for postage. Oh my god. Not only the price, but also, I mean, at the same time, if you're paying that much, what's $100 more? But still, that's disgusting fake advertising. But does it constitute asshole design? Like, let's think about this. This isn't really a-hole design. This is just uh, fr fraudulent. It's just a fraudulent title. I don't think clickbait is determined as, you know, bad design either or rather a-hole design, because it's just someone lying. A-hole design is something like putting the learn more button where a close button should be, for example, or making it so that when you try and unsubscribe from an email chain, you subscribe to it, things like that. I wouldn't say this is bad design, this is just a liar. You know? Is your website safe? Are you sure? Get your free malware scan now! No credit card required, no upfront charges! No thanks, I will let my site be hacked. Wow. That's just manipulation. That is just manipulative copy. They're trying to make you feel as though you're at risk if you don't sign up for their crappy service, because that's how they get you. It's like how when I tried to uninstall Norton for being such a piece of bloatware that it was just literally impeding my ability to use my computer. Um, it went, are you sure you want to leave yourself unprotected? Yes, Norton, because you are the virus. Stuff like that. It just, it bothers me to know end. you know what I mean? <laughs> If you have to sell your product by guilting people, then congratulations, you've got a bad product. This job site asking for more details about my sexual orientation. I would describe my sexual orientation as heterosexual. Please, give more details. Ah, uh, what? Ooh, that's weird. That's uncomfortable. That, ooh, are you applying for a job with a certain comedy YouTuber? Oh, this is very uncertain and very scary and kind of gross. What do I mean? What do I mean kind of? I mean totally gross. Like, let, I... <laughs> I don't, why would you need more information? Like, what, what What are you expecting? Like, I would describe myself as heterosexual, but yeah, I sucked that kind of bar once. Like, what, what are you after here? What, what more details could you possibly need as a potential employer? I don't understand. Do people who fill this out, is this like a, a like a fake, like a fake out test where you're like trying to weed out degenerates? Like, what's going on here? Like, I, I don't even get why this needs to be a question. Pharmacist, for ecological reasons, we only sell cotton buds made of wood instead of plastic. The cotton buds. <laughs> Made out of plastic. You hate to see it. I, uh, yeah, this is just, this is just an oversight. But like, they really should be in like a paper bag or something, you know what I mean? But then again, I guess that's probably not as sanitary and easy to seal as plastic. Like, that's kind of the thing. That's why we have so much plastic waste. It's very convenient material wise. Like, there's a lot you can do with plastic, which is unfortunate because it never breaks down. This world will be plastic by the time we're done with it, and we'll finally move on to the next one. Ah, this just, uh, it just doesn't bother me, but it's just like, I get why you're thinking this is silly, because it is kind of silly. But, like, it's a medical product that needs to be, you know, well sealed. Title of link versus actual headline, a dichotomy. Sarah Baron Cohen thinks it would be a travesty if his co-star Maria Baklava gets Oscar. Let's try this one again with the real title this time. Sacha Baron and Cohen thinks it would be a travesty if his co-star Maria Bakova is snubbed by the Oscars. Yep, and that's how they get you. Now this is just another liar. But the thing is, is you can manipulate what Google shows on those pages. Trust me, I know, I've done it. It used to be part of my job. We would give snippier titles specifically to grab people in, and then the full one inside. This is, you know, blatantly false, but it's something that is easily doable. This is someone taking the systems that exist, which are good systems, mind you, because they help. They help drive traffic. They're taking these good systems and using them for bad, because the dinguses, the buttholes, the... They're complete chunky ass sauce. That's just how it be do. Think of buying an EA game on Steam so you don't have to worry about origin? How cute. Look, guys, I'm gonna level with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down with you here and now and we're gonna have a nice talk. This isn't something new. This is a common thing. Remember when we used to have to install Uplay through Steam? And now we just do that through the Epic Game Store. Remember when we had to install Origin to play EA games? Well, now we still do. But at the same time, you would have had to play these games anyway. Like, I don't know, I, I've kind of come around on the whole multiple storefronts thing because I do agree Steam needs competition, but at the same time, I Origin isn't the worst thing in the world, you know what I mean? 
I remember there was the same issue we had with Epic Games where we thought it was spyware from the get-go, but then they basically explained exactly what was going on and it was okay. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure this is really butthole design. I think this is just, I don't want to install multiple launchers, which I get, but reconsider. They make fake hairs on ads so you can inadvertently tap on your mobile screen and go to their site. <laughs> oh my God. That's brilliant. Oh God, that's genius, dude. I hate it. I hate it, but I respect that. I don't respect it as in like you, you did something. I respect that as in that's so evil that I can't help but be impressed that someone came up with it. Oh my God, I, be, I have to be so careful now. They're evolving. They are evolving. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe even share it with a friend who could use a little bit of a-hole design in their life. If you want more r slash a-hole design, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds, but until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calvis video. Have a great rest of your day.